Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 1st, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bonus video for the month of October goes out to Libra. So if you have a Libra affiliation, be sure to check that out. Also, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet them. I greatly appreciate it. I also appreciate all of your comments. Now, if you're seeking a psychic reading, you can contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to that below this video. Um, I think you guys are in for a wonderful week this week. Um, there's a signing of a legal contract. Now, this could be a purchase. Um, it could be a lease, anything like that, but something, a signing of a legal document. You're under new beginnings, and what I'm seeing is an emotional end of a cycle, so it may be a little bit emotional as you close out one era and you go into another one, but it screams good luck and abundance. So that's a good thing. It's leaving the past behind, leaving the negative behind. Um, also a good week. I want to throw it out there for my single tourists as far as bringing something new in. And overall, you can expect a little bit of delays and plans. So let's take a look. This is for tourists for your week of October 1st, 2018. Taurus, we start with the King of Cups, followed by a major arcana of the Magician, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Let me break this down for you guys, and I'm going to pull you three more, starting with the King of Cups, showing your balance is pretty much restored. You guys are in, you're pretty much in a good spot, and you're really starting to feel that this week. The Magician, overriding everything in your reading. It's your yes card. You get what you want. Everything you want and desire is on the table before you. This is the highest card in the tarot deck. Four of Pentacles. Wise financial decisions. It shows no frivolous spending. Maybe save for a rainy day. Uh, but no quick spending decisions this week. Moving forward, we have the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is not only victory, success, and all that you do... Also indicating that you're going to be surrounded by a group of people that you're not normally surrounded by. My cat is after me. <laughs> then we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, unexpected offer of assistance, throwing it back out there to my single Taurus, male or female. This could be a new offer coming in. Three of Cups, indicating a celebration. Moving forward, we have the Ace of Cups, major kind of the Empress. And the Three of Wands. Ace of Cups, new beginning. It's in, in love because, like I said, this may be a little bit emotional for some of you guys as you close out one era and begin a new one. The Empress, the Mother card, everything well at home for a very small percentage of you. This could also indicate news of a pregnancy. And then we end with that Three of Wands. Knowing you're in a good spot, knowing that things are going your way, looking over the past and reflecting. What worked well for you, what didn't. So, major arcanas for your week. You got that home card and the Empress, but you've got the Magician. You get what you want. Everything's going along smoothly. Uh, this is your yes answer. So, thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.